Erin Hardigan was stabbed with her own kitchen knife. She was an assistant Orange County attorney. Right now, William Franklin is sitting behind bars. If this goes badly, I think we can say goodbye to any further family reunions, but I <laughs> hope. Yeah. Are you right? I'm good, how are you? I can't believe it's you, to be honest. Really? Yeah. I was hoping you'd be surprised. <laughs> Where was you going to tell me? Why would I tell you? <laughs> <laughs> That's the whole point. That's mad. That's crazy. Yeah. I can't believe it. I can't, honestly, the last person I expect to walk through <laughs> that door. I know. We found Elijah Touré guilty on 13 counts, including first degree murder in the death of Karina Mule. The prosecutor said Torre broke into Meal's apartment, bound her, and sexually assaulted her. He then stabbed her and took her car and debit card and used it around the city. Meal was working on an art exhibit at George Washington University. She spent three years as an art instructor at the Cincinnati Art Academy, and she graduated from UC's DAP program. Seven year old Justin Akeen Fedrick and 26 year old Keon Gordon. They are accused of sexually battering a woman inside a Claremont home on Distant Avenue during the early hours of June 22nd. A third man, Rodney Coop Cooper, has been arrested on a kidnapping charge after being accused of pushing her into a bedroom and locking the door as she was sexually battered. According to a police report, the victim said the men told her they were, quote, going to teach her a lesson about dating a black man and that white women don't mean anything, quote, in this town. The victim said that this unsettling attempted rape happened yesterday at 11 in the morning on the subway platform at 63rd and Lex on the Upper East Side. Police say the 25-year-old victim was initially in the same car with the suspect on the F train. She says Reyes started acting strange when she got off at 63rd and Lex. He followed her, made a lewd gesture, and then pounced. 